This is going to be a bit of an FAQ video on stropping with basswood because I get asked a lot of questions about it. I'm not going to be doing a stropping tutorial here but I will talk about how your technique might need to change to adjust to basswood. To start with one of the questions I get a lot which is very reasonable is why would I strop on basswood? And most importantly for me I achieve far better edges when I strop with basswood versus when I strop with leather. <clears throat> it's a fairly non-compressible substrate, so you don't have to worry about the surface um, licking up against the apex and convexing more than you want or rounding the edge. I find when I strop with leather, there's a bit of a bell curve in sharpness for me, so it starts off at like kind of a certain level, and I strop a bit and it gets much keener, and then I strop a bit more and it kind of stays the same, and I strop a bit more and it gets worse and worse. I find that when I strop on basswood, it's very linear, it just keeps getting sharper and sharper and sharper until it just falls off and stays exactly the same and it doesn't improve or get worse unless I make a mistake and round over. Some other really valid reasons for using basswood in my opinion is that it's dirt cheap. Good strops can be really expensive and basswood costs you know virtually nothing. It's super durable and will last forever. You pretty much can't gouge it and if you did you can just sand it down. Sure you can sand leather down as well but it's really difficult and you're never going to get the same finish as that unsanded grain side leather. Basswood is also really easy to refresh. Just scrub the top with a pencil eraser to move the swarf and just reapply your compound. Another fairly common question is, do you have to use diamond compound on basswood? Pretty much the answer is yes. The waxy bar compounds don't really work. It's difficult to apply the bar to it and then you have too much of the waxy carrier left on the surface and it disrupts the draw of the strop and also they're just not very good so just use a diamond compound and if you don't want to then stick with leather. Another big question that people always assume they know the answer to is can you strop a convex blade on basswood and the answer is actually yes you can stropping for performance only really requires that you abrade the apex you don't need something that will form to the full convex of the blade so you could just drop this like you would any other knife and you'll have no issues. If you want to polish the full surface then you can use these like a puck and just scrub sideways like that. Although because the basswood will present the diamond more aggressively to the blade than a foam or a leather wood you will get a more hazy finish with these polishing than you would with a softer substrate. This last question has a really obvious answer, but it gets asked all the time regardless, and that is, do I have to strop at a steeper or a shallower angle than the one at which I sharpened? You have to strop at the exact same angle as which you sharpened. If you strop too steep, you'll round your apex. If you strop too shallow, you'll do nothing. I'm just going to demonstrate here how I strop on basswood. It's nothing spectacular. It's going to look exactly how you would expect, but I know some of you will want to see it anyway. This is not a tutorial video, so if you want to see um, some step-by-step -step instructions, I suggest you dig out one of my other videos. But you can just compare that to this video and see that it's exactly the same on basswood as it is on leather. Except uh, I think basswood, in my opinion, is less pressure sensitive because it's a much stiffer surface. But that still doesn't mean that you should just go applying lots of pressure to it. It's always really difficult to try and get these in focus with a phone camera, but I'll try and film this anyway. This is a single hair. I cut it straight in half. This cut test was filmed prior to making this video. It was a response to a challenge set by Triple B, and I used the same techniques on basswood as I've just discussed. Just some final notes about stropping with basswood. I did mention it before, but because the substrate is not very compressible, the diamonds are presented more aggressively to the workpiece than they would be with a compressible substrate like leather or foam. So it will cut deeper, it will cut faster, it will cut more aggressively. 
So if you go a little bit more advanced, it's feasible that you can use the same grit compound to have a progression with substrates. So you could start with basswood, move to leather, move to foam, and that would give you a finer scratch pattern as you went and a, a cleaner finish. I very often will do all of my kind of like heavy stropping on basswood and then do a couple passes at the very end with a foam. Potentially add a tiny bit of micro convexity in there. Um, and that works kind of great for me. So that might be something that you guys are interested in trying. That's it. So good luck and let me know how you get on with stropping on basswood.